And I think we need to change the narrative when it comes to talking about our mental health and talking about how we engage with it so that we're not, we're not trying to look for hope in the immediate, but we're engaging with people in their pain. Yeah, and I think there's this, it's like in Job, isn't it? It's sort of, we can tend to think of, of the story of Job being like, oh, everything was bad and then God fixed it all. But ultimately God didn't, you know, Job didn't get back the wives and children he'd lost. Yes, he, he stopped mourning them. Yeah, exactly. It is, but it's that ability to hold those two things together. And I think we live increasingly so in a world where everything needs to be black and white. People are either heroes or villains. Um, life's either good or bad. But actually the reality is nothing's that simple. No one is 100% good. No one is 100% bad. And the period, you know, the periods that we might call, call the worst periods of our lives, that doesn't mean that nothing good happened in them or, you know, we didn't see God moving, but it doesn't make them good. You know, it is that <sighs> there is this space in between that we have to learn to live in because actually that's the place we live in all the time. It's ordinary time, isn't it, in the, in the kind of the church year? Yeah. 